Hey there, this is the Ed Beard again with the Employer's Edge. And as we continue our series on looking under the hood hiring, uh, today it came up, what, is it, uh, what does it take to really find out someone's both ability and willingness to dive into the subject of conflict and managing conflict? And the reason why it came up is actually one of the easier things to fake on an interview. And again, just like a car, what you see on the outside, it, it's always a very rosy picture. Everyone always presents a great picture, especially if they're well practiced at interviewing. What you want to do is look under the hood because it's the stuff under the hood that's going to cost you a lot of money and it's going to cause a lot of problems at exactly the wrong time. So you have to know exactly what it is you're getting. And in order to find that out, you have to look under the hood and see what you're getting. And we do that with a good normative assessment. And uh, someone's scale on taking charge, let's say on a scale of one to nine, someone who's on the lower side, they're lower on their take charge score. What we're really saying is they have a tendency to avoid diving into conflict and they have a long-winded, very indirect way of managing that conflict. And there's a lot of problems that that can cause in a leadership role. It can cause a lot of problems on a team role and the culture uh, inside a department when someone is, uh, tends to avoid diving into conflict and managing disagreements and things like that. Folks on the high side of their take charge or assertive score, they actually have an energy for diving into that conflict and they feed off of it so much that they tend to want the conflict even if there's no need for conflict. Their identity is so, is so attached and so aligned with being in conflict that they cause problems just to be in conflict. And that just disrupts workflows and performance flows, disrupts everything, disrupts engagement and motivation, disrupts communication norms. It just disrupts everything. And they actually cause a lot of problems. So don't think that because someone is really good at taking charge, well, don't think that being on the high side of taking charge means you're really good at it. It just means you do a lot of it and that's not necessarily a good thing. A lot of problems can come from that. Folks that are in the middle on take charge, they have a, a tendency to be able to effectively manage conflict, but they also are, tend to be pretty good listeners, and they also tend to work out conflicts in ways where people agree with each other, not just do what you're told kind of conflict, right? And so how do you really even know what you're getting? When you ask questions around in managing conflict, people are always very well prepared for those questions. Even a good behavioral interview question, like give me a time uh, as a leader on a project where you had to manage conflict on a team in between two people. They are very well practiced in that question and they will tell you exactly what you want to hear and they'll do a, a mighty fine job of saying it too. However, it's the very shiny outside that you just saw. We're trying to encourage you to look under the hood and see what it is you're really getting. Now, we're not saying don't hire anybody. We'll never ever say that. What we want you to understand is what is, your, what is it that you're getting? And are you willing to manage to that? Is there enough, if someone uh, uh, avoids conflict, are there enough upsides to that person that you could work with them on how to better manage conflict? Is someone so good at what they do that disrupting the entire team they're so engaged in conflict that disrupting the entire team well that's okay too you're willing to manage to that if you are fine hire them go for it we're never saying don't hire them but you better know what you're getting and you'd better know with a good normative assessment that will allow you to lift the hood up take a look under that hood and see what it is you're really getting on the subject of taking charge and managing conflict this is it with the Employer's Edge, and I hope that helped.